Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle level 2295, where we have 24 moves to collect 190,000 points. This is not what I'm worried about. These are what I'm worried about. With ticking time bombs set in these sugar chests, I need to collect these sugar keys first and foremost. Then I'll deal with the ticking time bombs and mystery candies that are there. I've got to take out the ticking time bombs that are more dangerously secluded from me. But I don't like this board, and I know that I can exit and enter over and over without uh, losing any lives. And if I were to bring in boosters, I wouldn't lose any boosters. And this looks like a better setup. I've got a higher concentration of colors. I'm going to start over on this side. I know I have this um, area over here with stripes and things, but I just thought I could get to the keys more quickly here. And that's my primary objective, key collection. Ah, oh, stink. Well, I'm going to do a striped rat. At least we'll get through here. Bring the keys in better. There we go. Two keys collected. All right, this is looking good. Okay, ticking tie bop, kind of awesome. Might need that for all I have to do here. Another ticking time bomb, so now I have to take these things out. Uh, with this one, I will take out all purple from the board. Yikes, I hope I can get to green with this. There we go. And now I take out all green. And notice that the color bombs uh, match with the color of a ticking time bomb give me a points award that is handy. Now, oh, I think I can, no, no more color bomb. Um, now I'll also get points for everything I have on the board created and not collected, so I'm fine with the points I have now, and I just keep getting new things because now I've got this board relatively open. But if I were concerned, I would just try to bring in um, a lot of the same color of ticking time bomb and take things out. I'd like to show you. So here we go. Now we've got two purple. So I'll remove purple, and that really boosts my board because uh, I get an exponentially larger benefit from each addition to what I'm trying to do. I don't have any ticking time bombs now that can injure me. Uh, even if I got one from here, the lowest they're set at is four, so I'm not worrying. And this is going to take this out. It's going to take out the most prevalent color on the board, and that's how we beat this level. Now. The first few times I played it, I did not look for a good setup, and it showed in my inability to get the job done. I was always like one ticking time bomb away, you know, one turn away from being able to take out the ticking time bomb before it exploded. Uh, so I really like looking for a better setup on this board. Um, but that was my fifth playthrough for recording purposes. I probably should have been able to do it better if I had played more slowly. So that's my best advice to you. Play slowly and make sure you can get those ticking time bombs out of the way. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.